In this section, we will look at identifying automatically started system processes. The system CTL command can be used to give a summary of running services on your system. System CTL, without any arguments, will list units, listing all types of units. A spacebar will advance a page. The B key will go back a page. At the bottom, definitions of what each of the columns mean is listed. A load reflects that the unit definition file was properly loaded. The active field specifies active or inactive and the subfield will list additional values depending on the unit type. I also get the total number of loaded units and an indicator that the dash dash all option can be used to load the inactive units as well. System CTL by itself is the same as running the system CTL list dash units command. Q will quit out of this command. I can narrow down the type with a dash dash type option and I can look at for example just the service type of units. Again the spacebar advancing a page and at the bottom it tells me the additional information. Q will quit. System CTL with a dash dash type equal socket. I can add the dash dash all option to see all loaded active and inactive socket files as well. And again list unit files will show me the unit file summaries. When I look at system CTL list dash unit dash files, again I'll narrow it down by type and we'll look at just the services. This summary is a list of those services that are enabled to start at boot time or disabled so that they will not start at boot time. Again, the spacebar will advance through the various pages and a queue will exit when I'm done. One last summary that may be of interest with system CTL and its default of listing units is the dash dash failed option. This will show me just services or units that have failed. To get more information on any one of these units I can use system CTL with the status option and specify the name of the unit. It can be the name of the unit dot and then the type if I need to specify the type. The default type is service. If I spell it correctly R N G D dot service and I'll get information that it is loaded. On that same light line to the right I can see that it is enabled on the active line I can see that it failed. I get additional information about the process that was started and I get some log line entries. These entries are truncated and I get a hint at the bottom that the minus L will show me the full list. There are other options on the system CTL command that can alter the number of lines that are pulled from the log files for a particular status output. System CTL status, if I give just a name of a unit, will look for a service unit. Here I gave SSHD. On the loaded line, I see that this is actually loaded SSHD.service. Again, that it's enabled, and this time I have a state of active and running. Looking specifically at the socket unit type for SSHD, I see an example of a disabled service that is also inactive. A shorter method of finding whether a service is active or inactive is to use the system CTL is active command, giving it SSHD which defaults to looking up SSHD.service, I get an active response. 
And again, if I specify a specific unit type, I would get that information as well. In this case, we have an unknown state. System CTL is dash enabled. for a service will give me a short answer of whether that particular unit is enabled or disabled. And the SSHD service is enabled and the SSHD socket is disabled. Again, for any of these, system CTL status will give me more detailed output associated with that particular system D unit. Specific information for a unit can be viewed with system CTL status commands. Short information about whether a service is enabled can be found with is enabled and if it's active with is dash active. More general summaries can be found with the system CTL command. The default is to list units showing an overall active or inactive state and the list unit files option will show me a summary of enabled and disabled units. These summary commands can be narrowed down by their type specifying just a service type or a socket type or any other type of unit. They can be expanded with a dash dash all option. And there's also a dash dash failed to get a summary of just what has failed.